December 31st, 2014. Has it really been a whole year already? I'm shocked. The year's gone by so quickly. Do you remember this year? I do. I remember a whole lot. My memory's going bad. If you'd all lend me your ears for just a little bit, I promise I won't talk them off. I'd just like to take a little bit and review the year, if that's fine and handy with you. Feel free to tab out. There's no real fancy video to go along with this one. 1 January 1st, 2014 came around. We were still smack dab in the middle of Omnia. The final installment of my seven year long comic series, which unfortunately, due to corruption of data, is irretrievable. I do have plans for comics and review though, so stick around. In fact, we were only a few chapters in. I believe three, if memory serves me right. Through the year, I worked with a number of lovely persons who may or may not be watching this right now. They gave me odd advice, plot tips, and oh boy, some of them could really plot. Sin Jim, if you're watching this, you were an incredible schemer. Mass plots to overthrow the plot, destroy the space time continuum, plots to subvert the plot, plots to subvert the plot, to subvert the plot. Hmm. Man, speaking of people, I'd like to thank them all by name if I can. Flag Brick, you were a steady rock in the comic, and without your help and constant input over the months, you would have died a long time ago. Xander, you helped reel me in when I got power on me. When I tried to shine in glory, you helped bring me back down to earth. I appreciate that. Shinjim, you really did keep things entertaining throughout. Um, Asuka, you're probably not even listening to this, but... You were part of the comic for a little bit, so I owe you some thanks, even if I had to obliterate you. To my gods, my audience, are so plentiful and numerous that I can only remember a few. I want to thank all of you for sticking with me to the end. It meant a lot. Insane, Tavros, Pyron, Idea. Even though there were few of you in the end, you meant the world to me, my ever-faithful audience. I hope you enjoyed the ride as much as I did. Who else to thank for my success? My friends, of course. Pat, Janice, Admiral, you guys are great. D&D has always been a blast, and I'm hoping we can do it again sometime. Otherwise, I'm fine with just having good pals to goof off with. It's been a tremendous relief during the stressful times. But enough about the comic. I did other things this year, too. I reconnected with a lot of good pals on Steam and disconnected with a few bad ones. But this is a happy video, so I'm not going to talk about any of those. Eh, I got my associate's degree from college, and I improved my art to a level that I'm starting to get comfy with. I became more and more happy with my voice. Yes, my, my voice. The object of so much envy with people. If I had a nickel for every time someone said they wanted to either A, bone my voice, or B, rub it against their skin like a lotion, I'd probably have a sizable pile of nickels. So thanks to the support of everyone who's helped me with that, and that includes you, Mr. Watching the Video right now. I've come a long, long way. You'd be amazed how much a person can change over a year. I grew quite a bit, you know. A good couple inches. <laughs> I'm still skinny as rails, though. Mm. December is the month of remembering people. Even if it's advertised as a month of consumerism and Santa Claus, the important thing to me is to remember. Do you remember what you did this year? Do you remember all the loved ones that you've hugged and hated, all the fights and fellowship you've done? Probably not. Minor things don't stick in our brains as much as big things, but they matter all the same. By remembering the past, we know how to shape our future and our lives. Are you the person you want to be for the rest of your life? Probably not. There's a lot of things I want to change about myself, and you're likely in the same booth. But I tell you this. Nothing will happen unless you try. That's why New Year's is such a significant holiday. It represents a renewal, a desire to begin anew. To start fresh from the very start. This coming year, I'm going to try my best to change. Not for the worse, but for the better. I'm going to do what I want, and I'm going to work hard to make my dreams happen. It may sound like a fool's errand, sure. Lots of dreams are. Odds are, I won't achieve my dream, but I'm going to try my hardest, and I think that you should too. I know life's hard. I've been through a lot of hardships this year, but I'm still standing after the sandstorm. If I can bear the storm, you can too, but you can't do it alone. No person, 
no matter their internal fortitude or spiral energy capacity, can stand against the entire world with no one to help them. Oh, don't believe me, sure. I know there's lots of you who feel alone out there. I know the feeling of absolute despair too. It's not pleasant. But reach up, extend your hand out, and you'll find hands willing to take it and pull you out of this hole. Climb upwards, dear listener, and you'll find what you're looking for at the top of the summit. Insurmountable as it is, everything has a peak. Keep at it, and you'll find it eventually. Keep up the faith in yourself, and keep climbing. I'll be here with you if you do, because we're all in this together. I'm going to keep making videos. I can't guarantee how often, but I assure you, if you put faith in me, I'll try my best not to disappoint. Finally, I'd just like to say this. I want you, yes you, to have a happy new year. I want you to make it the best you can, and I'll see you on the other side, alright? Okay. Cheers, and take care. I'll see you in another video.